Okay viewers, here we have a very old meter. Let's guess if you have an idea what it could be, which make. Um, it's probably made in the 1920s, 1930. The type is a TDU 8FT, 380 220 volts, 3 times 10 to 20 ampere, 50 hertz, constant of 384 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Laag tarief, hoog tarief. The indicator and GEB Leeuwarden. That's the local muni uh, municipal electricity department in Leeuwarden in the Netherlands. Okay, here we go. It's an uh, AEG. The load wheel is uh, in this little uh, window underneath the registers. I'll take the cover off and we'll have a look inside. Okay, this is the inside of the meter cover, embossed AEG, Algemein Elektriciteitsgesellschaft. And there we go. The inside of the AEG meter. I'll turn the load back on. It's about 4 ampere load going through this meter. <coughs> The current coils are these ones with flat ribbon copper and the voltage coils are above them, the round circles. I may need to zoom out for this one a little bit and we get into the details of the actual uh, registers themselves. So I just do a sweep over, here's the registers, there's the second load wheel and there's the first load wheel on top. The relay is interesting, it can actually be activated from 380 and 240 volts um, or 220 volts. Um, that's a neutral, the red one. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. Let's have a look. Oh. We switched from 220 volts and 380 volts. I'll activate the phase to one of the contacts, the relay pulls in and on this one it pulls in better so that will be the 220 setting <coughs> and this is the 380 volt setting it's struggling a bit harder to pull the echo relay in this can be realized by means of the two uh, resistors that one and the other one on the top uh, they are in series and they Give the 220, 380 volts option. Here's the meshing from the register and the anti creeping vein can be seen circulating around, which pulls the disc into the stationary position when there is no load or very slight load. The anti creeping vein lines up with the tongue sitting next to the rotary shaft, so no! And it turns around again and no! Typical good quality German product this meter, very well made and uh, considering it's probably about uh, 60 or 70 years old it's uh, very good glad to have this in my collection thanks for watching so this was the AEG three-phase meter